Greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome to the penultimate entry in reviewing this uh, set of 20 Hammer films on Blu-ray. For those who are new, I make these little videos about stuff that I like, such as mainly films, but occasionally, um, you know, other things such as shows, games, books, crafts, and so on. I try to focus on sharing just what I find enjoyable. However, in the case of this box set of films, I'm going through each one in the set, whether I enjoyed it or not. But before I begin, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon to get notifications for when I put up new content, which is usually one to two times a week. Occasionally I work in a third or fourth, depending on what there is to talk about. While you're here, be sure to check out my back catalog and uh, consider sharing both this video and this channel around and sticking around to the end as it really does help the video and the channel quite a bit. Now that that is all out of the way, this latest entry is for the 1959 film Yesterday's Enemy. Uh, cast members from this film, who I'm familiar with, uh, are mainly from other Hammer films, such as uh, Guy Rolf, who was in Stranglers of Bombay, um, which I'll link to my review in the description, as well as uh, he was also in the Puppet Master films. We also have Richard Pasco, who I'm familiar with from The Gorgon and uh, The Sword of Sherwood Forest, um, which I will link to those as well. As far as what this film is about, the synopsis for this is as follows. In World War II, during the Japanese invasion of Burma, the lost remnant of a British Army Brigade headquarters, led by the ruthless Captain Alan Langford, escapes through the jungle toward British lines. A little bit basic there, but so here's a bit more. Uh, yes, they are heading towards British lines, but it's very far away. It's, I believe they mentioned something about 40 or 50 miles through the jungle, so it's going to take quite a while. And while they're on their way, they um, come across this village, which is... Um, Occupied not just by local Burmese, but by Japanese soldiers as well. They take the village and need to work their way through British territory. But while they're there, there are some interesting developments um, as they plan their next leg of their journey. Um, they discover maps with attack plans, um, and they have to coerce an informer there to kind of fill them in. Um, and uh, the leader of this troop, this Captain Langford, which is played by uh, Stanley Baker, is beginning to kind of break down those important walls we put up regarding war crime going to do anything that he can to get that information and see that it gets into the right hands. But um, tension kind of builds as he's making the decision to leave the wounded behind and um, to have some of the prisoners executed, all this while the Japanese are slowly closing in around them. So yeah, we have another um, war drama like The Camp on Blood Island, which is a previous film on the same disc. Um, it runs a little bit long for the content that they have, but it does have some great performances in it particularly from Richard Pasco, as well as a Japanese uh, intelligence officer played by a Korean-American actor named Philip Ahn, because he plays it in this very cold and calculated and intelligent way. It's the way that he talks so calmly and smoothly about everything. It's really chilling and, and scary the way that this guy is. But be warned, though, um, watching this war drama is a bit rough in spots. You know, seeing this group break down as they're trying to reinforce that there are rules that they need to follow even in wartime you know you're you go to war because you have to and you kill only when it's absolutely necessary not as a punishment for a prisoner not as a way to get more information it can be pretty dramatic and tense at times but you know with all that being said um this was an interesting one to check out and i recommend it um, i actually found a link to the full film on youtube i don't know how long that link will be up but it seems to happen with some of these hammer films where somebody's able to upload them and they don't appear to have any kind of copyright strike, or it's just already claimed by Hammer, I'm guessing. So I will link to that full film if you want to check it out. It's about an hour and 35 minutes, which is a little bit long by maybe 10 minutes. But it is a bit of a downer. You know, it's it's a war drama. But it is worth checking out. And speaking of checking out, thanks for checking out this little video for Yesterday's Enemy from 1958. Or, I'm sorry, 1959. And thanks for sticking around to the end, as with all that other YouTube stuff that I mentioned at the beginning. It really does help the channel out a lot. And I got one more film in this set. I don't even know what the title is or what the genre is yet, but I got one more to do, which will be coming out the week after this. And then I will do a little recap review of all the films in here as far as what I thought about the set in general. And then I'm going to come up with a few other ideas for what to do with that time slot. I might end up changing some of my posting dates, or maybe I'll do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday thing and see if I can keep up with that for a while. But anyways, thanks for coming by, and I will see you in the next one.